For the first time tonight, we're able to show you footage of a police officer repeatedly punching and kneeing a prisoner. The footage was recorded by police station cameras in March, but couldn't be shown until now. Nine months on, the officer has resigned, but no charges have been laid. The former police officer has fought a legal battle to block the release of this vision. It shows a 30-year-old arriving at Broome Police Station after he was arrested for drinking offences. Then he swings at the arresting officer. That's when the first-class constable strikes back, repeatedly punching the detainee, dropping his knee on his head twice. Cuffed, the man is then thrown on the charge room floor. <laughs> The officer later caught on camera also saying, I just had to calm down because I was going to kill this He commented to the detainee, nice face, you punched like a fat The officer overreacted. I think there's a prima facie case of assault there. It is disturbing for us. The officer's lawyer fought hard for this vision not to be made public, but today an application for an injunction here at the Supreme Court was dismissed. The matter was then expected to be taken to the High Court, but at the last minute that was abandoned. The Triple C has investigated the incident, but nine months on, no charges have been laid. It says the focus will now turn to criminal charges. The officer resigned from the force in May. If we had the inquiry, he would have been charged months ago. The Corruption and Crime Commission are responsible for charging him. The Triple C investigated the same officer over an incident three weeks earlier. The Commission ruled that the officer used excessive force when he put an intoxicated teenager in a neck lock and later stripped him of his clothes in front of at least five officers, including a female. There were no charges over that incident. In all, the Triple C has criticised nine officers for not intervening or reporting the two incidents. Three officers were stood down by the police commissioner. Ebony Ferranda, Nine News.